Hi everyone! Today I want to show you all about the art carts we have at home. There are so many ways to use the art cart. I have one in my kids' playroom, I have one in my office. It's great for crafting, for art activities, as a homework station. Before we get started, please don't forget to subscribe and like this video. So here's a closer look at our art cart. You can call it a homework cart. There are so many uses for this particular cart. This is an Ikea Raska cart. I love this color. It's so pretty and I love the cart too. There's so many different uses for it that I actually have one in my computer area and I've seen people use it for lunch boxes and there's just so many things. So an art cart can be looked at as like how mine is, something that holds your art equipment but it also could be a homework station, a homework area, and another great thing is it's movable. So, for example, if my daughter is over there, then she can either just pull the whole cart to her, or I have these magnetic cups, and it's on the inside. I purchased these containers at the container store. I think it's from a company called Urbio or Perch. It has a magnet at the back, and a great thing is the art cart is magnetic as well. And the reason I prefer having these containers on the outside is because, for example, if my daughter wants to do a little bit of coloring, she doesn't have to pull the whole cart with her. Although it does have wheels, she really doesn't need to. She can just, you know, go from her table area, grab what she needs like this, and then just take all the crayons with her to her table. I change up what's in the art cart often according to my children's interests. If you leave the same thing there all the time, eventually they're just not going to want to use it. My daughter is five now. I have a five-year-old, I have a ten-year-old, and I have a twelve-year-old. My five and ten-year-old use the art cart often. My son doesn't seem to use it that much. I've had the dot markers in there since my daughter was probably two and she doesn't reach for it as much anymore, but I leave it there because sometimes she does. On the top here, I have watercolors, you know, different types that I've bought over the year, and then I have brushes. I have two of these cups here. I know it doesn't look like a cup, but it is, and I love that you can, you know, fold it over, and you just open it like this. Sorry, I'm trying to do it one-handed. And so when she wants to use her watercolor, she could just take water and put it in here and do her activity. I have two in there because oftentimes one child will be doing it and then one of the others will see it and they'll want to join in. Glue sticks and glue. I also have um, some popsicle sticks if they want to, you know, if they put too much glue and they just want to move it around. This is also a glue container. It has a brush on the inside. That's easier sometimes for preschoolers if they put too much glue on. Here's some like toddler scissors and I have a lot of sharpeners here for their pencils. In the front container I have twistable crayons. I love twistables. I prefer these even over that because they're harder to break I feel. I also include a small stapler for homework. There's a ruler at the back here, and I also have some oil pastels for my older daughter if she wants to do that. You can use the containers, like these containers, these magnetic containers. You can use them like how I did, where I just put crayons in one and twistables in another and markers. Or you can create like a homework cup. So you can put like a highlighter if you need to, a pencil, scissors, and anything else that your child might need for when they do their homework and you can, if you have multiple kids you can create three you can label it with their name and then they can use that so that's a fun idea let's go on to row number two so row two is more like our crafting area I have googly eyes in this one and I have feathers in here foam pieces here I have dot markers here, and in the last one I have craft sticks and Q-tips. On the other side here, I have more crayons, 
twistables, thin markers, and colored pencils. This is actually a photo container. I think I bought this at Michael's. This is also great if you wanna, you know, allow your children to just take whatever they want to their desk. And cleaning up on something like this is really easy. I feel like containers really helps keep your children organized so when they're done with whatever they're doing, put it back in the container and then they can easily put it back. Then I have these Lakeshore People color crayons. So there's multiple skin tones. And then I have them as colored pencils as well. On the second shelf, I also have this magnetic container. In here I have stickers and coloring books and activity books for when the kids are bored. Now, my third level is constantly changing, but this is what my children currently like to use it for. I have washi tape here. Sometimes you like to do art activities with washi tape. Sometimes you write, like to write notes. Another thing that they absolutely adore, especially my five-year-old, are these paper cutters. So this is a circle. Here's a star. And here's a heart. And that's and that's our art part. I really love it. It's functional. It's really helpful to have at home. Children love doing arts and crafts and this is great for quiet time and it's a good idea when you want to keep your kids away from screen time. I also have these drawers and they're not full yet. I have two. This is my second one. In my kids play area I use this one for paper. I plan to use the bottom ones as activities so I'm going to set aside five and I'm going to interchange what's inside them every week. So I might put Play-Doh in there one week, I might put an art activity in there, and I'm gonna label it with like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, so when my daughter is bored and she needs an activity, she could just grab one of those drawers and then take it to her area over there. So it's really helpful. And I could put some of their like learn to draw books here. Right now I'm just using it for plain paper and for construction paper. The art cart fits in the toy room right here. It is constantly moving. Sometimes I actually move it over there where the dollhouse is to the right, but right now since I have space, I put it over here. Normally it stays over there, which is closer to her table. Sorry, her table's a mess right now, but she was busy with an activity. We had filmed a YouTube video on my kids' channel, which is Fun with Mama's Kids, and we we had a few different activities. So I included like a sensory bin. I included, you know, um, a color recognition song. If you want to check it out, I will link it in the description box below. If you want a closer look at any area in my kids' toy room, please let me know. I've got animals up here. I have Play-Doh supplies, travel books cars and a lot of Barbie dolls. Include some clips from our previous art cart, what it looked like. It's the same, you know, Ikea Rascal cart, but I just change up the material that's in there according to my kids' ages. So here's a closer look at our art storage. I have our Dua Dot markers right on top, and then I put some stickers, and watercolors, glue. Labeling it helps keep the kids accountable, so it generally makes them put it back in the right place, but not always. I don't normally keep scissors in here because of my three-year-old, but if I didn't have a three-year-old, then I would definitely have scissors and then they could just take it out and use it for homework. In the middle tier, I have our collage material. So I've got feathers and pom-poms. I got these containers, I think, at Lakeshore Learning. On the side containers, I have books for drawing and coloring. I've got our Do-A-Dot marker books. The bottom tier is basically just a lot of extras and things that I don't really want the kids to be in. That's why I've got these side containers sort of blocking their access. So if my daughter wanted to color, she would just grab her crayons here, choose a book from here, and then go to her art table. So here's my little actress. So she got her coloring book, and what do you get next?
Don't forget to subscribe and leave a comment down below letting me know, do you have a homework station for your kids? Do they have a table at home dedicated to art and activities?